Hello everyone, Savartech here and in this video I'm going to show you how to tell whether an article was written by ChatGPT or any AI language model. Um, at the end of this video I'll be answering some questions about this topic so stick around until the end of this video. There are no ads or anything like that and you should find your answers regarding this topic entirely. I will be using two methods to do that and each of them has their own ups and downs. So let's get started. We'll ask ChatGPT to write us an article. It was copied on my clipboard. I'll just paste it here and hit enter. Let's maximize here. And let's do its magic. So having the article now, what we'll do is we'll take this, a part of the article, copy it, and go to this website that says AIWritingCheck.org and paste it. We'll check the text here and it'll tell you that the text was written by AI. That is one way to uh, test it and it's it doesn't always work. Also, it requires you a number of uh, minimum words and also limits you to maximum words. Another way to tell whether an article or a text was written by ChatGPT, I'm using a discussion board from one of my college classes. I've masked the name of the person who wrote it. Uh, and this mind you this was not written using my account this is a completely other student's account so i'll take this article and here's another way you can tell whether an article was written by chat gpt or not um you could paste it here and check this told you it was written by a human okay so that's one way to tell that this website doesn't always work whereas where i go when i go here and say was the following I put the article under that and I say enter and as you can see chat GPT say yes this text was written by a language model specifically specifically chat GPT so uh, the best way to check whether an article was written by chat GPT is to check uh, to ask chat GPT itself so there you go and even if we were to take uh this and ask it the same question yep it will tell you the same thing whereas if you take another piece of text it'll tell you no it was not so yeah, this is uh, two ways to check whether an article was written by Chad GPT. This one that we, the other text that we were using earlier was from a discussion board and I felt like it might have been Chad GPT. I wanted to verify and there we were. Now for the questions. Why are we showing two methods? Well, uh, the AI writing check that work method is more accessible because it's just a simple website. You don't have to sign in or anything like that and chat GPT is sometimes overloaded and you can use that as an alternative. But if you do have the time and, and uh, convenience to use chat GPT to verify whether something was written by chat GPT or not, chat GPT is more reliable. Can you rely on them? I'd let that be your own judgment. Me personally, I'll be very careful. I wouldn't uh, go to the punishment route if I was an instructor. Uh, if I found out something was written by chat GPT because you're not sure if you're writing uh, Watching this as of February 2023 uh, These things are still in development. So you can't really rely on it as uh, Someone who's using it. Can you get caught if you? Rephrase some things if you just change words like instead of background you say backdrop and instead of assume you say uh, concluded well, you still it's still gonna flag you because it's just a couple of words. I've tested this before. But if you rephrase it enough to the point where the sentence is different, uh, instead of saying uh, the painting's main subject, you might say the painting's original point or something like that. If you rephrase it enough, then it won't flag you because as humans, when we write, we uh, phrase things in a way, phrase things in a way, although there are no grammatical errors, it's still not the top 100% way of writing it. And those AI models are professionally trained to write everything almost perfectly. So 
Um, that's how the algorithm checks whether it was written by a human or not. Um, and lastly, are there any ways people dodge that thing that is really effective? Well, if you personalize it enough, it you can't get flagged really because if you uh, were to write this article and you say, the other day I was walking in the museum and I saw a, art, a painting or something like that. And then halfway through it, you said something like, my uh, girlfriend pointed out to me that there is a Jesus frantic. So if you personalize it enough, then, you know, it won't say it's an AI because the AI doesn't have a girlfriend or anything like that and it cannot go to the museum. So that's one way people uh, dodge those uh, flags is if you add enough personalization in it, then it gets rid of that. Um, that is pretty much it. Um, and last question is, uh, what happens if you want to cite ChatGPT in your essay? I think that would be uh, a normal thing, but I would not do it and I would not recommend it because if you cite ChatGPT in your essay, what happens? You raise a big red flag, not even a red flag. That's a whole billboard saying I use ChatGPT on all my essays. So I wouldn't do it, but here's how to do it um, if you want to. Here's a model of how to do it. You would uh, cite it like that at the bottom of the essay and this will be your in-text citation. So yeah, um, and lastly, um, that was pretty much it. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you really appreciated that video, whether you're an instructor, someone who writes articles, or a student, I'm on all of your sides. Uh, if you're a student, I know you might not be very happy about that, but um, it's just a way for me to show you this is a trap and don't walk into it. So bear in mind that I'm on all y'all side and subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed watching it and I'll keep coming with more like this. Appreciate you.